Tom, is this week going to be as busy for you as oh, last week? Oh, it's nonstop. <laughs> it's nonstop. We got it going on. And I, is it, is it the Conquest going to be this weekend? Yes, it's taking place this Saturday at Bayview, Bayview Park. Park. Mm -hmm. And you know, last year they had thousands of people come out to that. I mean, it's a huge deal. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, being a Conk is a really a proud thing because many of the Conk families here go back many, many generations. Like people now brag, I'm a seventh generation Conk. I'm a sixth generation Conk. I mean. So you're talking that these are families that went back to the founding families of Key West. Isn't that interesting, too? And think of the changes that they've seen mm -hmm. throughout the years, the generations, and well, the different islands. Well, the Key West has changed. You mm -hmm. know, it went from uh, almost like a fishing village and a shrimper's village. I remember, well, I remember back in the uh, 70s and 80s, when you go to the Half Shell Raw Bar, it was all shrimp boats over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like hundreds of them. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so it was a little bit different climate because there were so many, how do you say, uh, industrial type people that worked mm -hmm. hard and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a little different back then. But uh, anyway, generations later, here we are. Generations later, here we are. And we're growing more. I don't know mm -hmm. if we can fit too many more people on the island, can oh, we, Oh, it's sinking right now. <laughs> I was driving around the island last night and I had never mm -hmm. seen so many people. So, yeah. And uh, you're going to be seeing even more because spring break's coming up. Oh, yeah, that's when I the kids about come. It. Yeah, that's when all the college kids you will gotta come. you got to do a kegger on the beach? <laughs> no, <laughs> my college days are over. Oh. <laughs> they, they were over you know, a while ago. You there's this thing now where they hold you upside down, you put the tube in your mouth and they have a funnel. Crazy And you, kids. you drink beer upside down until you just puke. <laughs> and, <laughs> that sounds absolutely horrible. Why would someone want to partake in it? <laughs> well, kids like to do crazy things, let me All right. tell you. Well, stay away from that and check out the local theaters in town. They are very busy oh right now. Oh, my God. They're both killing mm -hmm. it right now. And we forgot to mention the uh, Fringes Seminar mm -hmm. with Mike Mulligan and the gang. Mm -hmm. It's a spectacular show over there, and they're doing it at Kelly's upstairs. And uh, you won't want to miss that. No. And I had the pleasure of talking with Mike this week. And he's an interesting guy. Oh, very he talented. Is. He is and, very talented. And he has Indiana roots. You know that? Indiana he, roots? Yeah. Really? He graduated from Indiana State wow. and also uh, did a little stint at Purdue University, too. You know, so. he's a yoga guru, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, he's and a he's busy my man. mother's trainer. Okay. So he has got a lot of things going on. But he is a wonderful actor, and you can catch him out mm -hmm. in seminar and also check out the Red Barn Theater and the, Waterfront. The Red Barn Theater, you've got uh, Three for Tea, a spectacular show. And then over at the Waterfront, they're doing their biggest musical in Waterfront history, mm -hmm. a cast of thousands. Danny Weathers has outdone himself this time. It's right here on the cover of Home Color this week. Mm -hmm. You won't want to miss the show. I love the idea, your cover. You have to pick up your edition of Conk Color because on the cover they have a cake within all the characters. Mm -hmm. That is a great, great idea, Tom. Well, I can't take the credit. Uh, JT from Solar Seal Design mm -hmm. inspired by Danny Weathers, uh, Waterfront Director, and they came up with that. And, uh, you know, I'm very lucky right now. People are competing to get the cover of Home Color, <laughs> and so they're coming up with just spectacular things. Mm -hmm. Last week we had Adam Rhodes' spectacular painting. He painted yeah. just for us. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, we're really rolling. And, uh, you know, we do love the arts. And by arts, I also mean the visual arts, the so painters, the sculptors, and all that. And, Right. Key West has just got some great galleries right now, we like at the Adam Road Gallery. But I mean, so many, many galleries. Oh, I should mention the Wyland Gallery, mm -hmm. another great gallery with all the sea life they have. And then there's Art Gun Wild, uh, Lisa and Arthur's uh, Gallery right there. And uh, it's swallowed there all in one area right there on Duval. And uh, you can just make an evening touring these galleries and seeing the fine, fine art these artists rep recommend. Absolutely. And along with the art down here we also have some amazing nonprofit organizations like the American Cancer Society. Yes, and the, uh, their Jubilee Ball is mm -hmm. coming up. and uh, Not taking place this weekend, but the following weekend. Yeah. So get your tickets now because I know they're it's going to sell fast. out. Mm -hmm. You know, all the doctors go to that. And, uh, well, a lot of people go because they're supporting something yeah, like the well, American Cancer Society. Yeah, a lot of people Cancer go for Society. different reasons, but I, mm -hmm. I'm just saying you'll probably see your doctor there. <laughs> and you'll see Tom there, and hopefully I'll be able to attend yes, as well. Yes, yes. So lots going on. There's never a dull moment, mm -hmm. is there? Tom. Not, never. never a dull moment, never a dull moment, not in Key West. <laughs> well, and, and also we'll see you at the new, the new uh, Cowboy Bills, Jim Gellerin's oh, new right. Cowboy Bills. And mm -hmm. uh, that's exciting. So we, we, I, we don't know what kind of cowgirls 
he's going to come up with, well, but we'll see. I'm we'll sure see. it will be interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I, I think along with the restructuring of that organization, they're going to also give Nancy uh, that slice in the back and let her rent that individually for Salsa Loca because she's closed right now too. So right, like, okay, so, so Salsa Loca should be back up. So yeah, they're going to divide it all up so everybody's paying for their piece. Okay. And good. I think that'll work great. I think so too. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. All right, well that is going to do it for us this morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Tom, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure having you here with me every Friday morning. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, take care and have a very safe and wonderful weekend. I'll see you out and about. It'll be okay.